Cyber attacks threaten people and businesses and cost the American economy billions of dollars annually because they have information that cyber criminals, bad actors, foreign governments, etc. want, and because they typically lack the security infrastructure of larger companies to adequately protect their digital systems for storing, accessing, and disseminating data and information, small businesses are particularly alluring targets. Welcome to the channel and subscribe. Get ready to delve and dive into the tips for enhancing your cyber security. According to surveys, the majority of small business owners believe that cyber attacks could harm their operations. Nevertheless, many small businesses lack the resources to pay for expert IT solutions, have little time to dedicate to cybersecurity, and are unsure of where to start. Start by being familiar with standard cybersecurity practices, comprehending typical dangers, and allocating resources to your cybersecurity. Some techniques of enhancement would be training your staff, because they have direct access to your networks, employees, and the communications connected to their jobs are one of the main causes of data breaches for small firms. Cyber attacks can be greatly reduced by providing employees with training on fundamental internet usage and practices. Additional subjects for instruction include detection of phishing emails emails, using responsible internet usage, preventing dubious downloads, enabling tools for authentication, for example, strong passwords, multi-factor authentication, etc., preserving confidential customer and vendor information. Safeguard your networks. Protect your internet connection by employing a firewall and encryption of data. Make sure your Wi-Fi network is concealed and secure if you have one. Set up your wireless access point or router so it does not broadcast the network name, sometimes referred to as the Service Set Identifier, in order to conceal your Wi-Fi network. Protect router access using a password. Use a virtual private network or a VPN to enable remote workers to safely connect to your network from outside the office if you have such workers. Update all software and use antivirus software. Ensure that antivirus software is installed on every computer in your company and that it's updated often. Similar software is offered by a range of different suppliers online. In order to address security flaws and enhance functionality, all software providers routinely release patches and updates for their product. Every software should be set up automatically to install updates. In order to secure your entire infrastructure, it is essential to update operating systems, web browsers, and other apps in addition to antivirus software. Make multi-factor authentication available. Multi-factor authentication MFA, is a method for confirming a person's identification that asks for more information than simply a standard login and password. MFA often requires users to supply two or more of the following, something the user has, something the user knows, such as a password, phrase, or a PIN, and or something that physically represents the user fingerprint, facial recognition. Ask your vendors if they provide MFA for the different sorts of accounts you have, for example, financial, accounting, and payroll. Maintaining and managing accounts for cloud service providers. If your business has a hybrid organizational structure, you should think about employing a CSP to host your information, apps, and collaborative services. The processing of data can be made more secure through software as a service SaaS providers for email and office productivity. Sensitive data must be secured, preserved, and backed up. Secure payment processing. Consult with your banks or credit card processors to be sure that you're utilizing the most reliable and validated tools and fraud detection services. Agreements with your bank or payment processor may potentially impose additional security requirements on you. Use different computers to process payments and conduct casual web browsing. Keep payment systems separate from less secure software. Control physical access. Prevent unauthorized personnel from accessing or using company computers. When left alone, lock up your laptop and other electronic devices, since they might be easy targets for theft and loss. Ensure that each employee has a unique user account and insist on using strong passwords. Only important people and trusted IT staff should be granted administrative privileges. To guarantee that former employees have been removed from your system and have returned all company-issued devices, perform access audits on a regular basis. Data Backup Often make a backup of all the data on your machines. Databases, word processing documents, electronic spreadsheets, financial files, HR files, and accounting files are all examples of essential data formats. A weekly data backup schedule should be implemented, if at all practicable. Control data access. Regularly review the data and information you save in cloud storage services like Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, and Microsoft services. 
provide employees access to only the data they require by appointing administrators for collaboration and cloud storage platforms and providing them instructions to keep an eye on user permissions. The risk in your business Understanding the danger of an attack and where you can make enhancements to protect your data and systems is the first step in enhancing the cybersecurity of your company. A cybersecurity risk assessment may show you where your company is weak and assist you in developing a plan of action. This plan of action should include recommendations on user education, securing email platforms, and safeguarding your company's data and information systems. Planning and evaluation instruments Dedicated IT help, whether provided by an internal employee or an outside expert, cannot be replaced, but these resources can be pricey. This is a list of steps that all companies may do to strengthen their cybersecurity, along with particular resources that they can use. Make a plan for cybersecurity. To assist you in creating a personalized strategy and cybersecurity plan based on your particular business needs, the Federal Communications Commission FCC, provides a cybersecurity planning tool, the Small Biz Cyber Planner 2.0. Assess your cyber resilience. The Cyber Resilience Review was developed by DHS in collaboration with the Software Engineering Institute of Carnegie Mellon University's Computer Emergency Response Team CERT Division. This non-technical assessment measures cybersecurity and operational resilience. You have two options for the assessment. You can do it yourself or ask DHS cybersecurity experts to facilitate it. Perform vulnerability scans. DHS provides free cyber hygiene vulnerability scanning for small enterprises through its subsidiary, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency CISA. They provide a variety of scanning and testing services to assist enterprises in determining their susceptibility to threats. By resolving identified vulnerabilities and modifying setups, they ultimately assist in securing systems. Control supply chain risk in information and communication technology. Protect your company's information and communications technology from sophisticated supply chain threats by using the ICT Supply Chain Risk Management Toolkit. This CISA toolkit, which consists of strategic messaging, social media, videos, and resources, is intended to assist you increase awareness of supply chain risks and lessen their effects. Use free cybersecurity tools and services. CISA has also prepared a list of free cybersecurity resources that includes tools and services offered by the CISA, widely used open source tools, and free services provided by private and public sector organizations within the cybersecurity community. Utilize this dynamic resource bank to strengthen your security capabilities. Moreover, CISA offers advice to small firms. Ensure compliance with DoD industry partners if relevant. The Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification CMMC program is particularly pertinent to federal contractors and subcontractors. Its goal is to protect the shared, controlled, unclassified information by the DoD. Contractors can use the CMMC framework and assess a certification program as a guide to achieving a set of cybersecurity criteria and requirements. Depending on the importance of the material, it is based on a three-tiered paradigm foundational, advanced and expert that requires businesses to deploy security measures and be evaluated accordingly. A specific CMMC level will be necessary as a requirement for contract award, so contractors must stay current on standards even when rulemaking is still in progress. Nowadays, cybersecurity is more crucial than ever. It is essential that we take action to safeguard ourselves against cyber dangers given the growing reliance we have on technology and the internet in our daily lives. In 2020, cyber attacks have risen significantly. A startling 68% of business executives believe their cybersecurity risks are rising, and more than 89% of business analysts concur that understanding risk management and compliance are crucial skills in the current business environment. How, therefore, can you best prepare yourself to enhance your technical expertise while successfully applying your business analysis understanding to cybersecurity? You may greatly improve your cybersecurity and lower your risk of becoming a victim of cyber attacks by putting the suggestions and guidance we provided in this video to use. Always remember that prevention is key and making an investment in your cybersecurity now might spare you from later suffering possibly grave consequences. Remember that tech keeps growing and you gotta grow with it too. Thank you for watching and follow for more.